Welcome back everybody to Tech TLDR. I'm your host Kyle. Had a bit of a delay this week, some personal stuff going on, but things are looking better and we're back here to make more space episodes. Today we are talking about SpaceX, the Starship updates that we have regarding SN15, SN16, the things we do and don't know. We're also going to be talking about Blue Origin and ULA, the missions they are doing and what's going on surrounding those events. So if you want to know everything, be sure you stick the entire episode, drop a like as always. Let's get into this. ULA, earlier this week they had a delay of their Atlas V rocket, however they were able to eventually successfully launch that Atlas V, deploying missile warning systems into orbit for the United Space Force. Blue Origin. Continue to promote this new Shepard ride. As of right now, the highest bid for a seat that I've seen is upwards of two million. So if you guys have any extra money lying around and you want to compete with these guys, by all means, go for it. And I saw someone speculating, like, why is Blue Origin promoting this so much on Twitter and YouTube? Why wouldn't Gus Bezos just be talking with all the rich people he already knows for a seat? The reason they're promoting it so much is just to spread awareness of this entire project itself so that way people can just you know enjoy and watch this whole event go down but also to give people an idea that space is really happening that these missions are starting to happen and that eventually it will become something that pretty much anybody could afford realistically right it'll be the next plane ride and that's really the whole point of promoting this just to spread overall awareness of the projects going on now let's talk about a little bit of some starship spacex news Mary Bukachikiga took this photo of what is believed to be a sort of methane plumbing system that will supply methane to the Raptor engine on the Super Heavy. Remember, Super Heavy is going to have a lot more Raptor engines than the current Starship to do, so they need a contraption like this to make sure that the fuel supply, the methane, everything gets to the Raptor engines as needed. I'm really excited to see what this thing really looks like. All the undercarriage, all the engines, all tied together. I think it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be a real beast. I'm excited to see that, and I'm excited for someone to share some photos and show you guys what it looks like. Speaking of Raptor engines, though, Starship SN15 it had one of its Raptor engines lowered and taken out. This is the first time a Raptor engine has been able to be inspected after a, a proven successful flight and landing, which will give SpaceX great detail on what to do to improve on. And with that being said, the timetable of an SN15 refly is now unknown. Before SN15 took flight, SN16 was already under construction, if you will. It was already being built. And so now it seems as though SpaceX is at sort of a stalemate as to what to do. They've yet to really publish what they're doing. It's believed that neither one of these starships, SN16, SN15, will fly anytime within this week or possibly even next week because SpaceX, they want to see if they can refly SN15 first. With this orbital flight coming up next month, I don't think SpaceX is going to want to launch an SN16 just to do another launch and landing when they've already proven it. I think at this point now, they want to move on to doing the full stack flight. And so because of that, it may not be worth it to even try the SN16 flight. If you guys have any insights or ideas, be sure to let me know down below. I'd love to talk about that. But personally, I think it's going to be actually a little while until we do see a Starship flight. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be anything happening down at the Starbase. Remember those cranes we talked about in the last episode? Well, RGV Photography took this photo of the new cranes being assembled at Boca Chica. These things are absolutely monstrous. Hopefully with the addition of these cranes, we can expect to see much more activity and construction overall in the Starbase. RGV, they also got this image of the assembly of the first integration towers underway. The integration towers, those are the towers that are going to be launching and catching, hopefully, these starships once they're fully constructed. Um, these are prototypes. I don't expect these things to look sleek like we've seen in some of the demonstrations. These are just rough templates, sort of like how the starship is now. Mary also supplied us with this image of the scaffolding assembly along the tower. Now, does this mean we'll see a tower in use for the upcoming orbital flight? I think it's very likely we will. I think this is what this is for. Elon Musk responded to a tweet from Austin Barnard asking if Elon Musk would do a press conference regarding the SpaceX Starship missions that have been going on and give everybody an update as to what SpaceX has found, what they're doing, if they've made any changes. And Elon Musk, he did reply saying, sure, he wants to do a press conference, give people some insights as to what's really going on. As we know, SpaceX, they really don't talk too much about what they're doing. I can't blame them. Everything probably changes on a weekly basis, you know? Things go wrong, things go right, things have to be corrected, things have to be changed. That's really the whole game of this project, really. 